In this video, we're gonna be unboxing the Philips Soundbar 8000 series, specifically the Tab 8805. The soundbar is jam-packed with a bunch of smart features. Firstly, you've got Dolby Atmos connectivity for 3D surround sound, a big selection of connectivity options, including seamless compatibility with AI assistants like Google, Amazon Alexa, Siri, DTS Play 5 for online music streaming, multi-room support and speaker pairing, and lastly, 4K and HDR video pass-through for your laptop or console using HDMI eARC. But now, let's get right into the unboxing. Now the box is quite large with everything you need to know right on there on the outside. It's separated into two parts, the soundbar and the subwoofer. The soundbar itself is not as heavy as I expected. It weighs in at just about 3.1 kg and is little over a meter long. More on this a little bit later. Moving on to the unboxing of the subwoofer. We've first got an accessories box packed within it and the main subwoofer unit itself. This guy weighs in at about 5.3 kgs. Design wise, We've got the same sort of design language for both the soundbar and the subwoofer. On the subwoofer, you've got the Philips logo up front and the main 6.5 inch firing driver on the right side of the device. At the back, you've got the air vent as well as the AC power input and the pairing button since yes, this is a wireless active subwoofer. So there's no cable going from the subwoofer to the soundbar itself. Lastly, at the bottom of the subwoofer, you've got these rubber grips in order to fix it to a certain place and not have it move around. Now let's take a look at the soundbar design. As mentioned earlier, similar to the subwoofer, you've got the same Philips logo up front in the middle and smart touch controls on the right. The build is very premium and sturdy and fits pretty much into any environment. Since this is a 3.1 channel, you get left full range plus tweeter, right full range plus tweeter, as well as the center full range plus tweeter. At the back, you've got the Wi-Fi connection instructions for DTS PlayFi, as well as all the input output ports. Speaking of ports, you've got two HDMI inputs and an HDMI eARC slash ARC output to enable 4K HDR video pass-through with high-speed connection that lets you experience the full effect of advanced audio formats like Dolby Atmos. Then you've got the Wi-Fi connection button, which is what you use to pair the device, optical, aux, USB inputs as well. And finally, there's the power input at the back. Next, let's move on to the accessories box. You've got four sets of cables included for the soundbar and the subwoofer itself with multiple region support with three pin and two pin. Also included are the wall mounting brackets in case you wanna mount this to your wall, along with a leaflet that lets you measure exactly where you should be installing the soundbar. Next, we've got the remote control for the sound system. I quite like the design of the buttons being flat. It gives the remote a more comfortable and elegant look. And we also have a quick button for Dolby Surround around sound to turn it off and on, as well as controls for the subwoofer right on there. Finally, we have a quick start guide and the warranty leaflet. I do recommend reading through the quick starter guide to fully understand how to use the system. Now with that out of the way, it's time to set up the device. So first things first, we're gonna plug in the sound bar and place it in front of our TV very snug fit for my TV entertainment system. Next, you plug in the subwoofer and it should auto connect to the soundbar. If not, you can use the pair button present on there to pair it up with the soundbar. Position the subwoofer to the left of the soundbar with its driver facing the direction of the TV and the soundbar. The exact measurements for this are gonna be in the starter guide, so be sure to check that out. This is the recommended setup in order to get the best out of the pair. By placing them this way, you get a simulation of true Dolby surround sound and it reproduces depth as well as height, creating virtual three-dimensional surround sound that flows above and around you. Using HDMI eARC, I was able to pair my console as well as my laptop to play games and watch movies with surround sound enabled. The surround sound channel separation works really, really well despite just being a simulation of Dolby Atmos and being able to encode it. It really gives you that three-dimensional feel and sounds do move from left to right and the channel separation for center, left, right is done really, really well. Pairing this up with a massive 75-inch TV like this one is a huge win for a home entertainment system. We're also gonna review that TV later, but yeah, let's get back to it. Without a doubt, this is a huge upgrade from a traditional 2.1 system or even just using your default speakers. It gives you a balanced sound performance with mid-ranges, tweeters, and subwoofers that you can really control and customize like you wish. Lastly, let's briefly take a look at the smart controls and all the additional features that make this a really cool device. Now, if you scan the QR code at the back of the soundbar, you can easily download the Philips sound application, then pair up the soundbar to your phone using AirPlay and you'll be good to go. 
Within the app, you have access to big selection of streaming applications for music, controls for the device, as well as various settings to tune and tweak the sound coming from the device. You can control things like the bass on here, the treble, equalize it manually if that's something you know how to do. Subwoofer settings all can be controlled from here as well as being able to control all the three channels on the bar itself. So you can simultaneously individually control the left, center, and right if you wish to. The customization is pretty much limitless. You also have access to voice services like Alexa, Siri, and Amazon, software updates all right from here. Playing music from Spotify was super easy and convenient, allowing me to even control the sound from my phone itself like any Bluetooth device would. If that wasn't enough, you also get built-in Chromecast support. That was just the unboxing setup and a brief mention of the main features on here. If you do want to know more about it, be sure to check out the link in the description for all the information needed on there from the Philips website. If you've never used a soundbar before, this is definitely one of the most convenient ways to get a home theater system without breaking your bank account or utilizing your entire living room space with just speakers. So if you do want a true home entertainment system without spending a lot of money, a soundbar like this one is definitely worth considering. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, a like would be appreciated and we'll see you again in the next video. Until then, 